Some videos of mine do very well. Some videos suck. The videos that do very well have five things in common. Here they are. The first thing, my best videos always have an awesome title. They have a title that's proven to work. And the way to find a title that's proven to work is by going on YouTube. Let's say you want to make a video about how to train your dog to stop barking. You want to make sure that video gets the most amount of clicks. Type on YouTube, how to train your dog to stop barking, or how to make your dog stop barking. Sort by most popular. See the most popular videos with that kind of title, and then use that kind of title in your video. Maybe they all have like all caps, or maybe there's brackets that says like, learn how in just 24 hours or something. Like you'll, you'll see some, some similarities with all the top titled videos. Next thing you want to do is take a look at the types of thumbnails that are being used as well. Maybe they all have a dog in them. If that's the case, put a dog in yours. If you're training, if you're making a video about how to train your dog to stop barking, maybe it's a dog with an owner, or maybe it's a dog with an owner with like a barking sound effect graphic coming out of the dog's mouth, whatever. But pay attention to the thumbnail. My best videos always have the best titles and the best thumbnails. People love visual, people love imagery. Now the third tip is that in your video, do your best to tell a story about how you once had a problem and you once had a struggle, but then how you overcame that problem and how you overcame that struggle. Just talk about your story, what you dealt with during that problem phase and what you dealt with during that solution slash you know, discovery phase. And then at the end of your video, you can tell people to, if they want more help, they can click the link in the description or whatever you want. But the point is, stories do very, very well. People love to follow along with the story. Plus they're easier to tell typically just very factual things. So that's the third tip, story in your video. The fourth tip is in your video, add pictures. The, my best videos have pictures or lots of jump cuts. Lots of pictures or lots of jump cuts keep people's attention for longer. That's why when you're watching TV or when you're watching the news, it's just flashing imagery all over the time. Even the bottom row has got like that, that freaking banner on the bottom, like showing like the stock prices and the latest news updates and everything. It's just constantly flashing, 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 keeping your, keeping your attention on it. Okay, so just add pictures of whatever you're talking about. That's very helpful as well. The fifth and final thing that you can do to make your video more watchable and the fifth and final thing you can do to make sure you get more views on your video is to use an app called recut now recut what it does I'll use it on this video here actually in fact I am using it on this video as you'll notice there's like no silent parts between what I'm saying and that's because I use recut and with recut you can just drag your videos in and then boom it takes out all the silent parts so that way if you're not that great of a speaker you're a really slow speaker it'll just cut out all the silent parts for you and that'll make it a lot easier for people to watch your video all right so those those are the five tips on how to make better YouTube videos. And if you do all those things, your videos are going to be a hell of a lot better, a lot more enjoyable to watch, a lot more enjoyable to make. If you'd like to learn how to use YouTube so you can make some money online by creating your own ebook, by, by creating your own course, you can click the link in the description of this video and it'll take you to a free training on how to uh, create your own course, create your own coaching program, and create your own ebook so you can start making some cash online using YouTube. All right, that's it for now. Peace out, much love, adios.